Hey everybody, so I was asked to share uh, this week's meal plan. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I haven't shared one in a while because it felt a little redundant, but we are changing some things up with our meals lately. So maybe it'll be a little more interesting. <laughs> I don't know. But if this helps people to get ideas for meals, then I'm happy to do it. And it really just takes a couple minutes. So uh, my current meal plan goes through Saturday, tomorrow night. So, I'm going to start with Sunday. This Sunday, the plan um, for breakfast, since we do have breakfast together, uh, it's before church, so we're going to have fruit and, well, my husband and daughter are going to have fruit and yogurt and homemade low-sugar granola parfaits. Um, you can see I made a little note there to thaw out chicken for Monday so that it's ready to go. Um, lunch, we'll probably just have whatever's around a lot of times we just have veggies and cheese and crackers or you know veggies cheese pepperoni we throw something together um and then for dinner we're having bacon cheeseburgers and i'm making them fries in a fryer that has beef tallow in it so it has some really great um you know nutrition in that and the flavor is really good um that was a note for something else i did um and then the next day monday um I have ballet, so we're doing a crock pot meal. And for breakfast, I like to make them since Sunday is kind of more of a quick morning for church. Um, I like to make them a, a, fan, a fancier breakfast because we don't have breakfast together this week. So I'm going to make omelets and either toast or breakfast sausage. Um, we like the Jones breakfast sausage. Lunch, again, will probably just be whatever's around what people feel like. A lot of times you have um, nachos because I always have stuff for nachos around. Um, let's see. And then for dinner, uh, we're having slow cooker curry chicken because my daughter has ballet. So I put that in, in the late morning and it's ready by the time we get home around six o'clock. Um, and that honestly is just thought out, uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs with a jar of, um, tikka masala or a similar curry sauce, um, that is low carb enough for me to enjoy it as well uh, in moderation. <laughs> um, so that goes, just pour that over that and then either some heavy cream or coconut milk or something. Um, and that makes that, <laughs> and then it's done when we get out of ballet. And then I just fry up a little bit of cauliflower rice and peas in a, in bacon fat in a, um, in a saute pan. And it's beautiful. Chop up some fresh green onion and cilantro to garnish the top and make it give it a little fresh flavor and it's absolutely amazing my daughter doesn't like it as much but she has her turn for meals she loves better <laughs> okay um tuesday we have a play date so um going to do another crack pot meal because there's not usually a lot of leftovers for this um so tuesday we have another play date in the afternoon so i like to just put something in the crack pot in the morning and then it just doesn't matter how long our play date lasts because I have something going for dinner. So we're going to have um, slow cooker chipotle barbacoa tacos. It's a chipotle copycat recipe I found on Pinterest. And um, I'm going to make sure to have um, romaine leaves to have as taco shells for myself. I love it that way. And I do have some flour tortillas on hand for my husband and daughter if they want it that way or they can have it on lettuce wraps and lettuce leaves too. And then I just cut up avocado, cilantro, green onion, sour cream, black olives. We usually have some salsa on hand too. Um, and that's just one of our favorite meals. We love it. So then Wednesday we have another play date and we'll probably end up having leftovers um, for that. Thursday we ha I have somebody coming over. We have another friend coming over. Busy, fun week if all this actually happens. Um, so for dinner, I'm making uh, spinach and artichoke chicken, which is absolutely delicious. I've made it before and it's so, so good uh, with a side of cheesy mashed cauliflower. And um, it has so much spinach and artichoke in it. I really don't feel like it's necessary to make another veggie side. And also the cheesy mashed cauliflower is a vegetable. So it's, it works. It's really good. We all love it so much. Okay. So Friday, um, I try to do fish on Friday of some kind, whether it's fish or seafood, um, when we can afford it. And, um, with all the dietary changes we're making, we're freeing up some of the grocery budget to try and fit in, um, more fish and just some nicer meats and stuff. 
so um, we're going to have cod, a baked cod with really great seasoning, um, seasoned salt, salt, pepper, uh, what else do I put on? Oh, dill, a, a good um, dried dill I put on that and we really love, love that. Um, usually this recipe of cheesy mashed cauliflower makes enough for two meals for us as sides, so I'm, we're going to have that again. And then I'll make peas for them. This is plenty of side for me. <laughs> um, and then we go back up to Saturday. And Saturday, this is one of my fi husband's favorite meals. So I'm going to make sausage patties with peppers and onions. And they will be having rolls probably, but I will have them without rolls. And it'll be just delicious and amazing. And I'm making baked beans for them because they really like it. And we don't have it very often. So Sunday is Mother's Day. And so far, there's no plan made for Mother's Day, um, but we might end up making plans, so, but I wanted to have a meal on the books. We'll probably have some, some like eggs and toast or something for breakfast, um, but there's not a lot planned, but I want to leave room for planning for that day, so, um, but I do have a plan for dinner, and that's just roasted um, skin on chicken thighs in the oven, and roasted sweet potatoes for, for my family, and then broccoli for all of us. And then Monday we have ballet again, <laughs> and um, I'm thinking just leftovers, probably have leftovers of something. If not, I'll piece something together. I typically can find something to have. Tuesday I'm really excited because we're having a new meal um, that I found on Pinterest. It's a low carb meal and it's buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. So you make buffalo chicken and um, it has some celery cut up in there that you mix with the buffalo chicken or you sprinkle on top. and um, I'm making a homemade blue cheese dressing to drizzle over that, and you put it in lettuce wraps. I'm so excited about this one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we'll have to, if I'll have to make some kind of a side for my husband and daughter to round it out, but um, I'll I'll decide when I get to that day. And then Wednesday, um, we're having a crustless ham, broccoli, and mushroom quiche, and peas on the side, and that's pretty a pretty. A pretty complete meal. Um, the quiche is really filling because I make it pretty substantially rich. Um, Thursday we're having steak dinner and I'm making baked potatoes for my loves and we're gonna have a salad because um, I can eat those two things and it gives me a good veggie. We'll probably have sauteed mushrooms because we rarely ever have steak or beef roast without sauteed mushrooms too. Um, and then Friday it's fish day again so we're going to do salmon cakes. Um, I make it with a canned salmon, wild caught salmon. And um, I found a recipe for keto uh, salmon cakes that are keto friendly so that I can eat them. And then we'll probably have cauliflower rice because we really love it and it's something we can all eat. And green beans on the side. Mm, sauteed green beans, so good. Then Saturday. Saturday, pretty much every other Saturday we do pizza because it keeps us from getting a hankering for pizza. So... If I just make pizza every other week, um, you know, sometimes you just get a hankering for pizzeria pizza. At least my people do. I can't eat it anyways. But um, but if I plan pizza every other week, then it kind of helps us not need to splurge on takeout pizza because I make a good pizza that they really like. And uh, they can, I make them each personal pizza so they can pick which toppings they want on them. And I make myself, if I'm having an appetite and hungry that night, I make myself a pizza crust with canned chicken. It's very, very, very low carb and I can make a veggie pizza actually with low carb veggies, which I absolutely love. And then typically we have a salad with it, um, at least for my daughter so that she can have veggies with her pizza. And if I'm hankering for a salad, I'll have that too. So there's the meal plan for two weeks. And that is my grocery list that I made to accommodate it or the things that we've run out of. Um, no, most days um, when we don't have breakfast together, I don't make a meal plan because my daughter eats pretty much the same thing for breakfast every morning. It's healthy, so I don't mind. Um, I plan the special weekend me breakfast because um, because I want to make sure I think have things on hand for a more special breakfast since we're having breakfast together. Uh, typically, they eat breakfast, and I just eat my half-calf coffee with heavy cream, and it makes me happy, and it makes me feel good. And I'm losing weight, so it works. Um, and then lunches, uh, typically lunches around here are so, so simple. We don't get really super fussy. Um, I just keep certain things around and because it's what they like to make lunches out of, like um, raw veggies, 
olives, um, cheese, lunch, uh, lunch meat or salamis or pepperonis or whatever. Um, or we just have a variety of things that are typical and tuna fish. I mean, mackerel, everything. We just tend to make things up that come from a certain pool of, um, foods and that way I'm okay with them just kind of picking something on weekends or my daughter picking something on weekends. That's just kind of what she feels like that day because I don't have to worry about not having it and I don't have to worry about being healthy because it's really all healthy. So I'm super excited to, I'm happy to not have to make a plan for every day. Um, and then breakfast, my husband just has coffee really. And I just have coffee. (laughs) We're not so much breakfast people anymore. And my daughter has her, um, her oatmeal pancakes with, um, that I made the really awesome recipe for the oatmeal pancakes. Um, we're going to try this coming week. I'm going to try to make her some banana oat pancakes, the flourless ones that I'm seeing all over the place because she asked me to make some of them when she saw the recipe on Facebook come up. Um, so we have, we're going to try a couple of the variations and see how she likes them. Uh, cause they seem to be pretty much just as healthy as the ones I've been making for the most part. So it'll give her some variety. And then we always have a side of a hard boiled, um, Nellie's for your and or a couple links of Jones sausage to kind of give her a little bit extra, um, good fats. The pancakes aren't really super full of fat. Um, so just to give her some good fats and to give her a variation of flavor and just a more enjoyable well-rounded meal. So that is our meal plan. That is how we roll. Um, it's our plan for at least the next two weeks, and I've been doing much better at um, at sticking to the meal plan lately since it's I'm getting better at making meals that we can all enjoy, that we can eat together. Um, I don't have to make a separate meal for myself. And since doing keto um, for this long and being fat adapted, I'm also finding that um, some nights I'm hungry at dinner time, and some nights I'm not, and I can... <laughs> keep my start my intermittent fast early after a a really big you know solid nutritionally dense lunch so that's just the way it's been happening lately (laughs) so um yeah I hope this is helpful I hope it gave you ideas if you want any of the specific recipes if I have a link to them I can uh comment below and ask for the recipe that you are interested in and I will try to find you a link all right thanks guys I'll talk to you later thanks for visiting bye-bye